Alright boys, welcome back to the welcome back to the channel. What what map updated. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much just continuing right where we left off. Where's that? Don't know what that is. Find out here in a second. Oh, this is the area I wanted to get to earlier. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. This weapon mod to zoom in and charge a high damage shot. Siege mode. Siege mode button to charge up a powerful beam that penetrates targets. Movement is still using siege mode. I feel like that one would be better. Okay. Artifacts Doom Marine. Whoa, what the? Without doubt, the UAC's most remarkable recent discovery was uncovered in its expedition to Hell's Kendinger Sanctum. For several kilometers through nearly impassable terrain, the team discovered a sealed tomb. Its entrance and walls covered in protective ruins and imprisonment incantations. Once open, the tomb revealed many artifacts, including the Praetor Suit. Most notable, however, was an enormous sarcophagus bound to the center bedrock of the tomb with thick iron bands, seemingly anchored to prevent anything from getting in or out. It was initially believed this sarcophagus must hold a rare or powerful demon. But when later opened... Later opened. Why would you open it in that case? It revealed the body of a man. The body was not petrified or decomposed. In fact, he appeared to be only sleeping, despite the fact that the bed he lay in seemed millennia old. Attempts to wake the man were fruitless, and to harm him even more so. As a protective argent barrier around the body kept him safe from harm and permanent stasis. UEC archivists cataloged the discovery DM1-5. The project personnel had soon dubbed him the Doom Ring. While the history of this while history of this man remains conjecture, the Helix Stone, as well as other artifacts found at the Argent Fracture and during the Hell Expedition of ECM-13, have shed some light on his identity. An etching in the Book of Deva, another discovery of the Kenninger Expedition, depicts the Doom Rain wearing the Praetor suit, engaging demons in battle as a hooded figure looks on. This image had been previously observed numerous times in other artifacts, but only with the actual discovery of the Doom Marine and the Praetor Suit in the sealed Kenninger tomb have researchers begun to put other pieces together. It is now believed the Doom Marine might have been part of an ancient group or tribe, maybe even their leader. Whether he is god, demon, or human will remain undetermined until the Ar Argent barrier protecting his body can be deactivated. Further deepening the mystery of his origin, the UAC remote monitoring drones in service during the Kenninger expedition recorded a protracted and deadly battle during the sarcophagus extraction. The demons attempting to defend the tomb with an instinctual ferocity previously unobserved. Once tethered and returned to the UAC, the sarcophagus was studied and first opened at Lazarus Labs, but went missing a few weeks later. It was believed that Samuel Hayden had the body and Praetor suit moved and hidden to keep it secure, although why he considered it to be under threat is not known. Holy crap. That is cool. Okay. Um, okay, heavy assault. Got that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. That is cool as hell. Um, I'm supposed to go that way. But, let's come over here real quick. I want to see what this yellow thing is. I don't know what this yellow thing is. Oh. It's literally just to bump me over here. Okay, cool. Oh, jeez. I almost fell. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. I think that's Samuel Hayden, isn't it? Wow, so they were sitting here pretty much defending this area. Jeez, look at all that. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, no. 
Hey, hey, actually, this is perfect. Hey, don't come back. You <gasps> hey, buddy. No, 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 Buddy? Oh, there's two of them! Oh, there's two of them! Oh, God. No, 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 Oh, Jeebus. Okay. What the hell is that thing? Oh, fuck it. We'll figure it out later. Let's go. There was two of them? Okay. I, I heard you. Oh, my dick! Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 Jeebus, oh, Jeebus, oh, Jeebus, oh, fuck those guys. We're gonna just come hide in here for a second. What the fuck were those things? Weapons, gauze cannon, precision bolt, oh, that's cool. Monsters. Baron of Hell. Burn of Hell is the highest demon among the Order of the Hell Knights. They rarely leave Hell, and no Burn of Hell has yet been captured by any of the tethering operations. Details regarding their behavior and their physiology are therefore limited. Okay. okay. Jesus. There's a bunch of ammo and stuff around. Okay. Fuck that. Okay, boys, let's go. Okay, never mind. That's just so I can get some HP if I need some. <laughs> I was not about to deal with that. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Oh! That was awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh, those guys. Oh, 
just gonna grab this real quick. Okay, Mancubus. Uh, Mancubus, I have taken their disgusting physical condition and turned it into a weapon. As they reach maturity, chitinous growth uh, begins, begins to form over each hand, creating a hard shelled barrel. As a flesh inside decomposes, a noxious effluvium begins to leak from the barrel. The Mancubus can spew this discharge from the barrel over a remarkable. I thought that was fire. It's literally just his discharge? That is disgusting. Ignites under the tremendous pressure, creating a highly effective biochemical flamethrower. Okay, no, it is a okay, it is a flame. It's just a biochemical flamethrower using its own disgusting crap. That's just horrendous. Nice. Right down your throat, boy. Okay. So cool. Alright, boys, let's go. Jesus. I don't know why I waste my ammo on these guys. I can very quickly just do that. Wait, wait, is this the Doom thing? And in his conquest against the blackened souls of the doomed, his prowess was shown. In his crusade, the Seraphim bestowed upon him terrible power and speed. And with his might, he crushed the obsidian pillars of the blood temples. He set forth without pity. Upon the beasts of the nine circles, unbreakable, incorruptible, unyielding, the Doom Slayer sought to end the dominion of the Dark Realm. Holy crap. Okay, so. Slayer's Testament 1, Slayer's Testament 3. Wait, so where was Slayer's Testament 2? Oh, man, I'm so mad. I've missed it. I must have missed it. Fuck! I, oh, man. I really want to go back now. Damn it, I don't know if I can. I might have, I might come back here in a, in a little bit. I'm just like... <gasps> just, okay, there we go. Oh. I might come back just kind of off camera and see if I can find Testament 2. Okay, I wrote me a little freaking reminder. I'm going to find there's Testament 2. Oh, I can't get up there. Okay, never mind. Uh oh. Okay. All right, boys. It is gearing me up for something and I don't know if I like it. Olivia Pierce. This yes, bitch. She looks so ugly. Like she looks she, like there's something wrong with this woman. A head of biomechanical uh, biochemical research at the Arden facility. Educated at Strasbourg with a first class honors degree in biometrics and genetics. She joined her former mentor someone hit on Mars to head up the Lazarus project. A few months after arriving at the Argent facility, Olivia was diagnosed with acute Idiopathic scoliosis. Uh, the cause of this deformation is unknown. Given the option of being permanently wheelchair bound or undergoing an experimental augmentation procedure, Livia chose the surgery. After several months in seclusion, Livia reappeared on her feet with a new titanium exoskeleton grafted into her spinal column. Also, that's what that stuff is on. That's like a, on her. So that, okay, so that makes sense for like what she's wearing, basically. And her spinal column. Although the exoskeleton allows Livia to stand and move on her own, it causes her excruciating pain. Oh, that sucks. Livia refuses any pain management medication for fear it will cloud her mind. I don't... That, that I actually don't blame you. You know, I, I... Especially if you're, like, super into, like, your research and shit. I, I can understand that. 
You're still crazy, though, unfortunately. No, you're, yeah, you're still crazy. Okay, so it didn't matter which way it went. Okay. Oh. Stop moving. Got you. Come here. Got you. Yes. Imps. Oh, jeez, not you. I don't want you. I want the imps. Okay. I just need six more. Okay. Um. You know what? Let's change it up. Let's go with plasma rifle. Gotcha. Oh! Got you, too. Nice. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Damn it. I missed him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Got him. Okay. Got him. Pull his fucking head off. Suck it. Okay. Okay, I think that was all of them. Okay, I got quite a few uh, imps that, that time around. Which is fantastic. Okay. Alright, boys, let's do this. Wait. That's my... That's my sar sarcophagus. It's like he knew. the fuck? Activate portal. Already. Alright, boys. Yeah, that's where I'm going to end it for tonight. Holy crap, this has been crazy. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. This has been freaking amazing. This game is fucking awesome. Anyways, that's where I'm going to end it for tonight. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Peace.